In a world full of chat messages, where emojis convey emotions and words bridge distances, adding a chat feature to your apps is a no-brainer. But there's always been one important thing missing because it's complicated the face-to-face -face video call feature. Well, today, we're going to add this tricky face-to-face -face video call feature together, with Zego Cloud making it super easy. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. First of all, we will open up our Flutter project. We will also provide the source code of this starter project, which you guys can download and then follow along with the tutorial. Now we have our project open. Let's move to the first step, which is setting up a Zego Cloud account. For that, head over to the Zego Cloud official website and click here to create a new account. It will take us to the new screen where we need to enter our account information, such as your name, last name, your country, your work email. Once you have entered your email, you will receive an email that will consist of a verification code that we need to enter here. And lastly, choose a strong password. Once you're done with all the information, check both checkboxes and click on start your free trial. It will take you to the next screen where you need to provide a little more information about your company, which includes your company name, website, your job title, type of industry, and lastly, your phone number. And once you're all done, click on continue. And here you can see that we have received free 10,000 minutes that we can use without any changes. Now click on go to the dashboard button. Now we have our dashboard open where we can see all the details about our account, like minutes left, balance, and many more. Now click here to create your first project with Zego Cloud. Here there are many use cases that you can choose from, but in this tutorial, we will focus on the video call feature. After selecting the video call, click on next. Here give a name to your project and scroll down to choose start with UI kits. Wait a little while until the project is created. Once the project is ready, it is time to choose your framework. We will select Flutter here and then we will leave everything default. Scroll down and click here on save and start to integrate. It will take us to the configuration page where we can start integrating Zego Cloud within our app. And also it provides us with an app ID and app sign that we will require later. First of all, click here on quick start. It will take us to the documentation of Zego Cloud. Make sure that you click here to go to the updated documentation and here we have the quick start guidelines and steps that we need to follow. We will scroll down a little. Here you can see that the first step is to add Zego Cloud dependency. Therefore, we will copy the command and open up our VS code. And here within the terminal, we will paste our command, which will add Zego Cloud dependency to our project and verify it. We will go to our pubspec.yaml file. And here you can see that we have our dependency added. Now returning back to the documentation, now we have to create a separate page for our calls. Therefore, we will return back to our VS code. Here we will create a callpage.dart file within the pages folder. And inside we will create a class call pager, which is a stateless widget. And here instead of a placeholder, we will return this widget, which comes from this package. And it requires few properties such as app ID, app sign, user ID, username, and call ID. Let's start from the beginning. For the app ID and app sign, we will go to our dashboard and here we will copy our app ID and app sign. Now returning back to our VS code. To write clean and efficient code, we will create a constant folder within the lib directly and inside we will create constant.dart file. Here we will create a class app info and inside we will define two static constant variables app ID and app sign. Now coming back to our call page, now we have our app ID and app sign. Therefore, we will access it from the app info class and assign it to the required parameters. Next, we need to specify the user ID. We want each user to have a specific ID. Therefore, we will create a variable and use a random function from the math library to generate a random user ID. And then we will assign it here. And lastly, we will convert it into a string. Same for the username. We will access the user ID also. Now for the call ID, we will create a variable call ID and we will mark it as required within the constructor. Basically, the call ID we will get from the home page when the user enters an ID within the text field. For the config, we will access the one-to-one -one video call method from the Zego UI kit pre-built call config class. With this, we are pretty much done with the UI. Now let's get back to the documentation. 
Now the next step is to configure your operating system. In this tutorial, we are going with the Android, therefore I will focus on Android configuration. First of all, we will go inside the Android folder, then app folder, and here we will open up this build.gradle file. Here we need to set the compile SDK version to 33. We also need to set the min SDK to 21. Then we will go to the build.gradle file of Android level, and here we will change the existing Kotlin version to 1.8. Next, we will go inside the Gradle and then the wrapper folder, and here we will make sure that this line of code is present here. Now lastly, we need to add permission within our app so that the user can give permission to the app to use a camera, microphone, etc. Therefore, we will go to Android, App, and then the main folder, and here we will open the android.xml file, and here we will paste all permissions, which we can get from the documentation. Next, we need to create a separate file within the app folder, with this name, and inside we will paste this line of code. Now, the last step we need to add this line of code, therefore we will go to Android, App, and Build.Gradle file, and inside within the build types we will paste this line of code, and with this we are all set. Now let's go to the home page, here when the user enter the app ID, and press on the join button we want to navigate to the call page, therefore we will use navigator.push, and for the route we will use the material page, route and inside within the build method we will call our call page and we will pass the call ID that user entered within the text field using the text editing controller that we have created on the top. And with this everything is good to go. Now let's run our app on two devices to see the results. Here on my device I will enter a call ID 1234 and I will click on join. Here you can see that I am already within a video call. Now I will share the call ID with my friend and he will also enter the same ID within his phone and when click on the join call, here you can see that he joined the same video call with me and I have full control over the video. I can change the camera, I can mute myself, I can turn off my camera, and many more. Well, there you have it, guys. We've successfully integrated video calling into our Flutter app using Zego Cloud. Now, if you're interested in developing apps, websites, or backend servers using Flutter, Hey Flutter is the perfect solution. With over seven years of expertise and a track record of crafting numerous applications and websites, we've got the experience you need. Simply go to heyflutter.com app and let's begin building together.